Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about uh, loops and a common mistake that I see, especially from programmers that come from a different language, uh, but also people who are new to Python. Uh, so I'm going to show you that little mistake and a cool tool that you can use to replace it. Actually, kind of two recipes, but let's jump into it. Okay, so the problem that I see a lot is in a Python script, say we have... I don't know, some things that we want to say hello to, uh, like worlds and, uh, I don't know, person. <laughs> Let's say we had more things like that. Um, I often see a mistake where people will do for i in range, uh, range len of things. And then they will do, uh, say we want this to be a numbered list. Uh, they will do this. And then hello, hello, things I. And uh, this works fine. Uh, you know, it prints our numbered list. I guess it's off by one. So we would do I plus one uh, to make sure that we get a, a one numbered list if that's what you actually wanted. You could, of course, do a zero numbered list if that's what you needed. Um, but it's a little bit weird and um, it's not how I would write this uh, given I know more things about Python. So I'm gonna show you how I would rewrite this to you know, kind of remove this weird plus one and to remove this range line. And the, the, the reason that you would remove this range line is it's a little bit weird that you're you know, taking your list. Uh, normally when you iterate through it, you're just gonna get the items, uh, but then we have to re-retrieve the item back later from this, this index. And so what we're gonna use instead is a built-in called enumerate. And what enumerate does, um, is if you have some sequence in it, it will give you the index and the value uh, in repeated tuples. So you can see like the, maybe I should have used ABC instead of one, two, three. <laughs> Cause numbers, numbers next to numbers is confusing. Anyway, there we go. So like the, the zeroth index is A, the first index is B and the second index is C. This gives us a way to, uh, you know, have both the index and the value while we're looping through at the same time. You can also give it a start, if I recall correctly. Yes. So we can change that, uh, change where it comes from. So we're gonna use that to replace this loop here. We're gonna do for i and uh, thing in enumerate things. And so what we're doing here is we're unpacking the tuple in this, uh, you know, these two values here, we're assigning them into each their own variable. So we're getting the index into i and the actual value into thing. And so now uh, if we do this, it should also still work. We still haven't gotten rid of that plus one, but we can get rid of that plus one by specifying where the index starts. So we can make it start at one instead of starting at zero if you wanna produce a numbered list. Um, and I think that's all there is to enumerate. Pindoc enumerate, is there any other? thing here. Yes, that is, those are the only options. So uh, it takes an iterable, any iterable, it could be a list, could be a tuple, could be a generator, could be some custom iterator, uh, and it takes a start and it will yield progressively each value. You don't really have to worry about the rest of this. This is mostly to implement the, implement the iterator protocol. Uh, don't know why this is specially defined here. Um, maybe to always raise an error, I don't know. Uh, and then this is for pickling, which we don't really care about. But yeah, that's enumerate, takes an iterable, takes an optional start if you wanna change which index it works at and progressively iterates them. Now, uh, one pattern that I've seen where uh, you want to iterate and look at the thing directly before you or directly afterwards, I've seen that as a case where you iterate with just the index, something like for i in range one to len of things and then you'll do like uh, let's do some more things in here so that we can see this looks like um uh, previous is things i minus one uh, current things i i've seen this is a common pattern where you may want to use range len um to comment this out. Uh, this 
is a potential case where you would want to use this, um, but there is a better way to do this instead. So instead of using range len again, again, like my brain's like, oh, that's weird. Why would you do this? And you have to do some kind of annoying math. Um, you can use zip instead. So if we use zip of things, things. This will give us thing one and thing two. And this isn't going to work off the bat. We have to actually do a little bit of special logic here. So thing one and thing two. Uh, right now it's just showing each of them the same, but we, we want to we wanna make them offset by one. Um, we do that naively by doing one colon here. Then I'll do a slice. Uh, do I have that backwards? Previous world current person. Is that what we had up here? Yeah. Uh, so this works. Uh, it's a little bit wasteful because this builds a whole temporary list from this slice, and so you might want to use something like Intertools, slice. Intertools.i slice things one. Uh, this will drop the first element for you so you don't have to build a. Uh, wait, is that not how this works? Is this wrong? Intertools.i slice. I thought the first was start. Oh. I guess we have to do start at one, stop at len things. Huh, weird. It doesn't act like normal normal slicing. Uh, okay, now now it works. So this this potentially can save you some performance by not creating a whole copy of your list. Of course, it's a little bit more verbose, and you know maybe I would have actually gone back to the original <laughs> uh, range len if if this was the the desired result here. Um, or I would switch to a while loop instead, which may be slightly more obvious, uh, but I don't know. But yeah, zip zip is the other thing that I want to show. So enumerate can uh, remove many of the common cases where you do need the index and you also need the value. Um, and zip can be helpful if you have this sort of uh, you know, staggered pattern. But anyway, hopefully this was interesting. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.